you know, I'm, I'm actually just, you know, I'm, I'm losing a lot, I'm doing a lot of stupid things, I'm failing, but... This weapon, I love it! Yeah, see, right there again, we got, like, a normal attack animation to have the But my right should have been falling attack. Hey, I think it didn't consume my life gem just then. Well, maybe not. I, it looked like an item dropped from one of these. Did I get another item falling through the world thing again? But can I even get there? God, it fell through a hole in the plant. Are you? Ugh. Developers, fix it. You know, I bet that means that you can shoot arrows through the holes in the ground. But I, I'm, I'm too disconcerted about probably losing another life gem to be concerned with it. Oh, I love this weapon. I should probably be a bit more careful, though. I'm dying far too often. Yeah, that's something that appears to have remained from Dark Souls 1 that I, I could really do without. Enemies that remain solid for time after their death. Their, like, their death animation remains solid. In a solid state in the world for a while. Can get in your way, push you around, prevent your attack from reaching an enemy it might otherwise have. Very annoying. Uh, we got 1,200 souls. I, I like my pants now, but, uh... You know, I'm dedicated to the cause now. Gonna, gonna get this tree leaf going. Perhaps if I didn't take quite as long of a running leap, it would be good to scope out where exactly we're aiming to. So yeah, it looks like if I get up there, and uh, perhaps the mouse will show up if I... Uh... Or... No! God! Oh! Note self, mouse is a valid controller. If, if I had done this, there we go. This is what I wanted to do. I, I wanted to take the mouse and gesture with it to show how it looked like there was a visible path to walk up the left side after leaping and get to that wood platform with the item on it. I swear to God, there's just like a life gem. Well, that was a plunging attack, but... But... but where are the guys that were here? That's mildly worrying. No matter. Hey, life gets easier. After death. Hello. Here a little bit. Really eager to get to me. A little too eager. Yeah, I ran down the wrong button. Eager for death, are we? We are freedom from your hollowed state. Get back! Hello. Ow. Damn it! Wrong! Lock on! Heal, heal, heal! Okay, we're healed. Wow, that's a nice, that's a nice animation. I like that animation. Just strong attack, strong attack, strong attack again. Really fast. Love it, love it, love it! I really don't like the running attack. And you are really dense. Get wrecked. Did, did you just try to hug me? Aw, oh, I have a mace to the face. Make sure that none of you assholes are going to interfere with me in my moment of glory if I ever actually make this freely happen again. Yeah, see, the lock-on remained on him for a little while after he was dead, and in addition to that, several enemies have death animations, or just physics, I suppose, that make them remain a solid object after they're dead for a few seconds, and it can get in the way. Alright, so here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to point out that if you look over here, 
There's messages here, so there. Obviously, you can stand there. It looks like there's a path going here, up to where the wooden platform is. Now, I'm, I'm a little concerned. That looks like it's a bit too steep for us to actually walk up, but I will leap off this tree successfully again. <clears throat> okay, I feel better. Oh! You assholes are just up here! Oh, and you're still- Oh! Ow! Oh god! Oh! Oh god! Oh god! The word for what I am feeling right now is not hatred. No. Ah, they are not dignified enough for hatred. The word for them, the word for what I feel for them, is loathe. I loathe. I loathe their guts. I will have their guts upon my face. My moment of glory received much petty vengeance upon the innocent. No! Lock, damn it! That was interesting, but I probably still... Ooh, I had just enough to make him recoil. Yeah. Alright, that was a close one. Yeah, I think I've got about 1,200 souls sitting over on that platform. Kind of irritating. I, I apologize to all of you. You're still enemies, you're still in my way, you still need to die. But I, I extracted much unjust... We have additional, an additional gesture, and of course, since the menu opens up like this, it obviously means. Okay, let's let's take a look at this again. I look like I'm about to roll some dice. Let's get rid of this and check this one out. Well, what is it? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. You know, I, I have to wonder if they are intentionally giving the things misleading names. If if the well, what is obviously the newest edition of the well, what is it, is called Welcome. Eh, I'm dying. Ah, oh, well, here with my 1,200 souls. Damn it. And th this is the part that's most annoying about leaping puzzles in Dark Souls is... Typically in Dark Souls, it doesn't matter if you die. Like it's your fault if you die twice and lose your souls. But something like this is like this is just fighting mechanics. This isn't any actual like these guys are apparently permanent now, which is peculiar. Like they haven't come back for several deaths now. And this is very strange to me. Are the enemies just despawning? There's a part of my brain tickling right now about something. Uh, 
look similar to Hello. Let's see if we get behind me quick. Thank you. Oh, the bandit's not good. Oh, that thing. Can't get a backstab off. Of, uh... Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Oh, <laughs> yeah, just barely got out of there. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say it doesn't appear that you can get a backstab from a sprinting. Like you have to come to a stop somehow. All uh, right, before it, you get the backstab the trigger. Yeah, I wonder. I'm pretty sure that you could probably roll out of it, but someone who's really skilled with the backstab animation trigger could probably just keep poking you in the back over and over and over again without actually triggering the backstab just to annoy you. Right, so I think the part that is most successful to me is when I take a look at where I'm going first. And then I only back up about this far for the run. Careful not to backstep it. Yeah, I'm getting better at it. Let's uh, try to get myself into a better position here. Yeah, the problem here is that they keep getting into peculiar, peculiar ranges. To get them out of like, see, I was aiming for him, but he slid down, and he, my swing it, it missed him. Oh god! Only one to deal with now, Vanessa. Sliding out of my range. But soldier shield, alright. Will not say no to new equipment. Yeah, good for you. Pointless, but joy. Well, I guess that tells me what all of my efforts were for. Cannot, yeah. This is what I was afraid of, is that, uh, I can't, this this incline is too steep. Like, I think above here, it's a, too steep again. Pointless, but joy. Ah, oh, that message is perfect for, for my moment. Well, I would say that my moment of glory was in fact quite ignoble and worthless. Nevertheless, I feel pride in mastering leaping ever so gently better now. So obviously we get to this place from somewhere else, possibly through the cave, or something will eventually get rid of that big huge fire. It just, uh, I'm gonna think of it. I had that item, yeah, there's no way I could have been able to get to that item that fell between the spaces of the planks. Alright, so, well we climb this ladder, and talk instead of speeding it up. We learned that apparently uh, something may spawn enemies, which is a little disconcerting for the purposes of farming, but it would make backtracking much simpler. Like, uh, I suppose that eventually if I despawned all of the enemies in this area, I'd have a clean sweep to just repeatedly jump over and over again off that tree to, to learn it. We got a a little bit better at, uh... Got a little bit better at leaping. Thanks to the, the tree trick. But, uh... We didn't get anything for it. Yet. However, in future, it would probably be a good skill to have. No running out. Get back! Apparently I got hit through what I would have assumed would be vulnerability frames for a backstab. You have to be a bit more careful about your backstabbing and reposting now. They're they're not as uh, altruistically vulnerable anymore. Oh, I guess my shield blocks fire as well. Oh, Jake! Nope, that didn't move. Oop. Let's. I, I I want my pants money, okay? I I I I I I I. Quite sure I'm in overtime right now. I want my pants. Go get my nice pants.
take these uh, these crummy things off that I actually haven't even been looking at anyway. Oh. Hello! I guess I've permakilled these guys then? Uh, maybe it's, like, I've obviously given these guys a lot of traffic in their deaths. So I suppose the trigger is just killing them? I think I, I heard something similar to that in trailer or EMP or somebody talking about it. Perhaps. So I, I'm going to go with that assumption for now. I'm not going to look it up. You know, the wiki possibly spoiling me if I if I uh, visited it a little too well. I, you know, come to think of it, if enemies eventually just stop spawning, this hat is even more valuable than just making me the dapperest ugly fuck ever. But anyway, beyond making me dapper, it means that uh, there's a very finite chance, a, set, a very finite set of chances for you to actually get anything that the enemies drop. So, it's even- Hey! You! We're gonna learn to parry you. You need to pay for that. here, building on EMV's advice, is to try and hit their hands with my shield. I'm not going to try to parry the overhead anymore. Ooh, follow up on that one would be really easy to parry. Yeah, it looks like if he bounces his weapon off my shield twice, he disrupts. Oh! That would have been a good one to get the parry on. Uh, I'm out of dust. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, so he's, he's fairly good at rotating. I think I'm gonna try it without... There must be something wrong with his neck. Like, his helmet's too heavy for his head or something, because he's just kind of... His head rolling all over the ground in the back of his back. Going around towards his back, I should say. Okay. Get up. Yep. Say goodbye! Alright, so vengeance for him surprising us before. Can't we just pick this up? I mean, the blacksmith would fix, us for, fix it for us. Pick it up! Pick it up! Come on! Ah, stupid. Time to buy some fancy pants! Ooh, you look nice. Scary, but nice. Definitely wouldn't want to fight him. Alright. So these are the last you'll ever see of these pants. I'm glad to see. Thanks very much. Yeah, a little bit fancier pants. But nice, it's nice, it's very nice. I look like shit. Yeah, this armor doesn't look too bad. I might consider, uh, getting the improved version from him, the tidied up version. Like, the only thing I really like on this armor is the mantle, which just looks nice, It'd be totally impractical in battle, and the uh, right shoulder guard pad. I don't exactly know what purpose it would serve, other than, like, I, I would think that you would want two pauldrons instead of just one, but uh, it does look nice. That, other than that, the red color and the 
the, yeah, so the red color, the pal the soldier, the soldier. Word English good today. The uh, pauldron on the right shoulder and the red color are, are basically the only things I like about this armor. I, I've seen armor on the enemies that look better than this. All right, so we, um, you know, we kind of wasted some time. Lost a bunch of souls twice. Uh, we got we got some fancy pants. No, but as nice as I thought they would, but we got some fancy pants. We, uh, yeah, I have a very comfortable weight ratio right now with a weapon I love, with a weapon to back it up, too, which is you know, a little bit of fun. It's always nice punching people. I'm kind of interested in getting a second Kaistus, but uh, I'm going to call that a day for now. It's the end of this recording session. May start another one today a little later, but, uh, you know, you never know. So, uh, I wish you a good day. We, uh, didn't get a lot done today. But, we had fun. That's, that's the good thing. I'm really getting into the swing of this. So, have a good day. I'll see you next session. Bye-bye.